Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles. I'm back to the World Puzzle Federation 2016 Round 3. Um, these puzzles were all created by a single creator from the Czech Republic, Jakub Androsek, which I've almost certainly pronounced wrong in every video. This is a 38-point puzzle, and if you're wanting to understand how the point system works, checks out the first puzzle in the uh, this series, the 2016 Round 3 Classic Sudoku 1, where I go into some detail on how that works. Um, of course, there'll be a link below to this puzzle where you can try it for yourself, as well as to um, the entire World Puzzle Federation archive where they've published every puzzle from 2014 up until now. So 11 years worth of puzzles. Um, I'm working through them slowly. Um, and uh, yeah, let's go through the rules, which is one I don't think I've done before, at least not presented like this, um, and then give it a try. So what do we have? We've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And then adjacent cells containing consecutive numbers are marked with inequalities. Numbers placed in these cells must satisfy the given inequality. So these digits will be consecutive, but this will be the uh, lower than this. So for example, if this was a three, this would be a four. If this was a seven, this would be an eight. That's how this works. Um, adjacent cells with no marking must not contain consecutive numbers. So for example, if this was a four, this could not be a five or that would break the rules. Um, that's the rules of the puzzle. Well, actually, oh, if this is a four, this would be a five, but this couldn't be a three because that would break the rules because we this would be the higher consecutive, but this couldn't be the lower one. Hmm, maybe that's an interesting deduction I need to remember. Um, I am terrible at inequality puzzles. Um, when I first got into Sudoku, I was given a couple, not given, but I bought a couple of books of Sudoku, like with hundreds of puzzles in them. Um, and when I got to the inequality puzzles, I think I did one of them and didn't finish it and decided I have never wanted to do an inequality puzzle again. Maybe I should go back and revisit them, but I just find I, just, my, I do not connect with inequality puzzles. But with the consecutiveness on this, maybe this will be different. Let's restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So the place to start is probably up here. Right, maybe. So we can think of these, this is like a five cell long thermo, um, starting here and this being the higher digit. So for example, this could be one, so one, two, so one, two, three, four, five. So this is a minimum of five here. So five, six, seven, or eight. It can't be eight because um, eight would be consecutive with nine and these can't be consecutive. So maximum seven, whoops, maximum six, maximum five, maximum four, maximum three. So one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five, four, five, six, five, six, seven. So the eight has to go in one of those two because I can't put the eight next to the nine. Okay. So this is limited. This couldn't be a seven. So if this was anything but the seven, if this was one, two, three, four, five, this would be six, seven, eight. Can this be six, seven, eight? If this was six, seven, eight, because this was one, two, three, four, five, how would I make this work? Because surely one digit would be consecutive with the other. If I put the six here, the seven would be next to it. If I put the seven here, the six and the eight would be next to it. If I put the eight here, the seven would be next to it. This can't be a one because this would be one, two, three, four, five, and the six, seven, eight would force consecutiveness. So that doesn't work. So this can't be a one. This can't be a two. This can't be a three. This can't be a four. This can't be a five. Now, if this was seven, six, five, four, three, this would be... And that does work because I could separate the one and the two. No, this can't be seven, six, five, four, three, because this would be one, two, eight. And to separate the one and the two, I'd need to put the eight in the middle and I can't do that. So the eight would be here and this would be a one, two, which would be consecutive or the eight would be here. Uh, like the, No, this would be seven. So this would be the eight. These would be one, two, and they'd be consecutive. So this can't be seven, six, five, four, three. This has to be six, five, four, three, two. These are one, seven, eight, and the one has to keep the seven and the eight apart. That's very cool. I like that. I'm assuming I could do the same down here. 
remember, I am not going for speed solving. So the maximum here is nine, eight, seven, six, five. This can't be a two. So it's three, four, five, four, five, six, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. There is a two in one of those. If this was five, six, seven, eight, nine, these would be two, three, four, and there's no way of doing it. So there's no five, six, seven, eight, or nine here. If this was an eight, these would be eight, seven, six, five, four. These would be two, three, nine. With the two at the end, no, that could work. Hang on. So which way doesn't work? If this is if this is seven, six, five, four, three, then these are two, eight, and nine. The two is at the end. Yeah, if this is seven, six, five, four, three, these are two, eight, and nine. The two couldn't be in the middle and the eight and nine would be forced together. So this has to be eight, seven, six, five, four. And these are one, two, three, and nine. I can't put the two in the middle. And the two, three have to be kept apart. So that's the nine and that's the two, three. That's very cool. So how do I get into the rest of the grid? Two is in one of those now, because two can't be in any of those or any of those. And the two can't be here because that would force that to be three and it can't be. And the two can't be here and it'd force, oh no, that would make that one. This could be two. So two is in one of those two. So that puts two in one of those. If two was here, that would be one. If two is here, that would be three. That can't be two. If two is here, that would be one. So two is in one of those two. So one of those two is one, which puts one down here in one of those two. And that means this, yeah, one of those two has to be the one now. But if this is the two, this is the one. If this is the two, this is the one, making that the two. This has to be the two and the one. That's very cool. And that puts two down here, but this can't be the two because that would make this the one and that clashes. So two is in one of those two. So two's not in any of those. I think I can put two in those because that would just make those one. Okay. So what did I start with? I started with this two, three here. So what similar do I have up here? Seven and eight, or, or, well, hang on. I started with two, but I could do something similar with three. Three is not in any of those. Three is in one of those three. Uh, that doesn't seem as restricted, does it? Because three here would just put four here and that's fine. Okay. So what could these be? Well, where's nine in this box? It's not in any of those. It's not here because that would make this eight. So nine is in one of those two. Nine can't be here. It would make that eight. Nine can't be in any of those. Nine can't be here. Nine is in one of those two. So nine is in one of these, but it can't be here because this would have to be 10. So this can't be include one, two, three. So it's four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight. But this is the same. What can this be? Three, four, four, five. Or it could be three, four. It can't be four, five. It could be five, six, six, seven, or seven, eight. That's not particularly restricted. So maybe I need to look at this box. Now it was the two from here that was restricted. So maybe, well, four? Four and five are both in here because four, five can't be here and four, five can't be here. So four and five are both in here. But I could go like three, four, five, six. Well, I couldn't put five. Oh. Or I could just do four, five in one of them. I can't put six in either of those. So I can't put five in either of those. So five is in one of those. So four is in one of those. Right. Okay. That's, that's fine. So that puts four in one of these three. 
Four here means three, four, five. Four here means three, four, five. This can't be a four, and four here puts five here. So five is in one of those two. One is not in any of those. One's not there because this would be one, two. One, two could be here. One, two could be here. What about this? It could be one, two. This could be one, two. It can't be two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six. It could be six, seven. It can't be seven, eight. It can't be eight, nine. So this is the only possibility here. One, seven, one two, or six, seven. This is also restricted. If this is four, five, isn't this broken? If this was four, five, what could this be? It couldn't be one, two, three. It couldn't be two, three, four. It couldn't be three, four, five. It couldn't be four, five, six. It couldn't be five, six, seven. It couldn't be six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. This can't be four, five. There'd be, there'd be no three digits left. If this was four, five, what three digits do I have in a row? One, two, three is gone. Two, three, four is gone. Three, four, five is gone. Four, five, six is gone. Five, six, seven is gone. Six, seven, eight is gone. Seven, eight, nine is gone. This can't be the four, five. This is the four, five. Okay, that's good. Which does put four and five on this line. Four and five are both down here. So this is either three, four, five, four, five, six. Doesn't that have to be from three, four, five, six now? That can't, so where's three? If this was three, four, five, that would be a three and that would have to be a four. There's no three on this. This is four, five, six, which puts six in one of those two. But these are known. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, nine. Well, two and three are the only ones that are consecutive. That's the nine, that's the eight. And the two means that's the seven, that's the six, and this is the one. The two is looking down, making that the three and that the two. This is very clever. What's this triple now? One, five, nine. Now, this can't be, a, these, neither of those could be one because they're larger than those. So this is one, two, three. There's no one in those. Five, four, three doesn't work here anymore because of this. So this is nine, eight, seven. This is four, five. And this is the six that hasn't been placed. This is good. The three takes three, four out of here. So what is this triple? One, two, eight, nine. Well, this can't be a two. No, maybe it can. So the nine would make that an eight, which doesn't work. The eight would make that a seven, and the two would make that a one. But these are one, three, and seven. So all of that works. Okay, so this box, I think, is where I need to do the work. And I'm not sure how. We know four is in one of those two because four can't be in any of those. I can't put four on here because four can't be here and four here would make this three, which doesn't work. So there's no four in any of those. Four is in one of those two. Four, three, but that's now a four, nine pair because nine has to be in one of those two. So this is either three or eight. So one has to be here. And two has to be here. So this is a one, two pair. Because I can't put one here. This would have to be lower than one. I can't put two here. This would have to be one. This is a one, two pair. So this is the three, eight. If this is three, this is two, and that doesn't work. So this is the eight, meaning that's the three, that's the four, meaning that's the nine. Eight in this box now is here making that seven and one, two, three, four, these are five and six. The eight looks up making that the seven and that the eight. This is so clever. One, two, three, four, and seven. Seven, eight, nine, or oh, this can't be a three. This can't be a four. This can't be a seven. 
three, two, one does work. Seven, six, five also works. So this is either three, two, one or seven, six, five. Seven, eight, nine works or four, this can't be four, five, six. This is seven, eight, nine because four, five is broken. Seven, eight, nine means this is three, two, one. And these are, that's four and this is five, six. And we know the order because of the, the inequality. So what's this triple? One, two, three, four, five, six, three, seven, nine. Now this is one less than eight. So that's the seven. This is a three, nine. These, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now there must be a five on this because this is either four, and this can't be the six. This is either four, five, or five, six. There's no four there, and there's no five there. That's forced. That's very cool. But I need to do more to break this open. So what are these? These are one, two, three. And this is either one, two, yeah, this can't be the one, and this can't be the three, because this has to be lower than this. And this can't be the two, because this is either one, two, or two, three. What are these? One, two, three. These are four, five, six. And this is either, this can't be the six, this can't be the four, and this can't be the five for exactly the same reason. And these, I want to, these are seven, eight, nine. This can't be the nine, this can't be the seven, and this can't be the eight. But now I need something to break this open. That is a four, five, six triple. No, the seven is looking up, making that the one, which makes that the two. But there's no two in any of those. The two is looking down, making that the three, which makes that the two, which makes that the one. The two looks down, making that the one and that the two. The one says, oh, there's no one in either of those. Four, five, six. Oh, the seven, eight means that's the nine, that's the eight, that's the seven. The seven looks up, making that the three and that the seven. The three looks down, making that the nine and that the three. The nine looks up, making that the eight and that the nine. These four, five, sixes. Negative constraint. I haven't even thought about the negative constraint in ages. This can't be a six. Oh, this is in order. <laughs> so this is four, five, six. I possibly could have got faster. Five, six, four, meaning this is six, five, four. And that's the solution. If I thought about the negative constraint more, I possibly could have done that faster. I used the negative constraint right at the beginning and then completely forgot about it. <laughs> but that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that puzzle. Greater than consecutive Sudoku. Um, really interesting concept. And yes, if I'd remember, if I played with the negative constraint more and kept that in my head, there was probably opportunities there that I could have used it to speed up myself but it doesn't matter. I was finding stuff and having fun. And if I was finding stuff and having fun, I was a winner. That was great. Um, thank you to um, Jakub for these puzzles from nine years ago. Um, Jakub's never going to see this, um, but that doesn't matter. I'm having fun. Thanks everyone for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.